Hello there. We're happy to announce the updated Fovate SketchUp extension. So to update this extension, if you already have it installed, you can go to the extension manager, go to manage, and you should see this button in blue. You'll update your Fovate extension, and you might have to restart SketchUp in order for it to work correctly. And then if you don't have it open, you can always go to the extension warehouse. If you haven't used it already, Go to the third page here, and you can download the extension for free. Uh, and now we've added an ability to try the extension uh, before you even sign up for an account. So all you have to do is go to extension, Foveate extension. So now you have the ability to register for free straight from here. Or if you just want to get a quick preview, you can check out our video by clicking this button or pressing try extension. Now when you click try extension and click start export, your SketchUp project will automatically get exported, optimized, and then compressed so it's ready for sharing, and then visualized with PBR rendering. That stands for Photo Realistically Based Rendering. All of your SketchUp scenes will be converted into Foveate moments. You can preview them like this. And then any material named video will get recognized. And in Foveate, you'll be able to drag and drop the video right onto the screen and be able to attach that to that material in your SketchUp model. If you don't have a Foveate account, you can just click the sign up button and that will take you to a sign up page or you can try Foveate. There's a 14 day free trial and you'll be able to test as many scenes as you'd like. Extension here, sign in, you'll be greeted by our new dashboard. So this dashboard mirrors what's in the Foveate app and this will allow you to both create new scenes and update existing scenes. So let's create a new one here. All right, look how fast that was. Now this does work the best SketchUp 2025 and up. It was designed with SketchUp 2025 in mind, which has a much faster export. So if you're on an older version of SketchUp, consider upgrading. Things will look a lot better and be much, much faster. So after you do that, we have our cameras visualized here, all of our scenes now in moments, our video material. It's compressed to 80%, compressed create scene. And now we'll jump over into Foveate. And there we have it. Here's our SketchUp project, now turned into a real-time ready interactive presentation. Let's change the background here. All right, all of our scenes become moments. So someone can just press play and then jump between these just like a slide deck. Now you're able to share this with your teammates, email invite, clients for example, have permissions, public and private, make this public, you can even embed it on a website. And this is great to both present to clients if you send them in an editor link, for example, which is this link right here. Then you'll be able to present to them in real time without needing the screen share. They'll be synced on your end and theirs. And you can always leave this link with them as it is static. So they'll be able to come back to this and really understand your designs this way without you having to be present and explaining things to them. Now let's say you want to make a change in your model. Let's go back to SketchUp here and Let's say now we want to add a sort of stage element. Say maybe some funky shapes in the background. I'll make changes to our scene here. We'll update our scene. Go back to the plugin. 
pick our scene. And then we can add this, overriding our old asset and replacing our old moments with our new ones. We'll update our scene. Here we go. Our moments data is now updated. And our model's updated as well. And because we named this material video, what we can do now is take MP4. In this example, I have a little sports video here pretending this is an outdoor display, let's say for streaming a, a, a soccer game. And it has appeared here in the scene, but we want it to play on top of our SketchUp model. So because we named that material video in SketchUp, it'll appear now in the assets list, clicking the video, going down to the video mesh, and choosing our SketchUp model. Now we have our video playing right on top of our SketchUp scene.